So I got another lean code today. This time it's on a 02 Ford Explorer. The customer just said that the check engine light was on and then he felt like it was running kind of rough. So got the scanner hooked up and these are the codes I pulled out of it. PO 171 and 174, bank one too lean and bank two too lean. So let's figure out what's going on here. Let's look at the freeze frame data and let's see what the conditions were when this light was set. Coolant temperature. Okay, long-term fuel trim on bank one was basically 18% and long-term fuel trim on bank two was 24%. So both banks pretty high, bank two higher than bank one. Engine RPM, 648. So this obviously happened, I would assume when the car was idling. Yeah, vehicle speed zero. So, okay, these so these codes got set when the vehicle was idling as opposed to going down the road. Okay, so we know that the vehicle was essentially warmed up and Hang on, let me change this. English. Yeah, here we go. 179, 180 degrees. So the engine was warmed up and both banks were high at idle. So, okay, let me go to the live data then. Let's go to live data. All right, let me start it up. Check engine light on. Okay, let's see here. Let me find my fuel trim data here. Long-term fuel trim, one and two. Okay. So the engine's running, idling, it's still warming up because the engine was stone cold when I started it up a minute ago, so. Okay, both short terms are are high, they're definitely high, so I would expect that the long terms are gonna start coming up pretty soon. So I'll just kinda let it run for a minute and get that coolant temperature up a little bit higher and see what happens. Because remember when the code was set, the uh, the engine was warmed up to about 180, so let's let it warm up for a bit. Okay, so we're warmed up a bit more now. So the long terms on bank one and two, they're both at 25 right now. So obviously whatever's going on is affecting both sides of the engine. Could be vacuum leak or fuel or something. Um, the customer did say that he felt like it was running a little rough. So let me, um, let me actually give it some gas. Here, let me go out of here and get the engine RPM on here too. Let me show engine speed so you guys can see Okay, there, now you guys can see engine speed too. So let's see, let's rev it up and see what happens here. Okay, so I'm at 3000 RPMs and the fuel trims on both banks are pretty much zero. They're, they're normal, let me let off the gas. There's zero. Let's let that idle come down. Okay, now they're back up to 25. Let me give it some more gas. Give it gas and they go down. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely a vacuum leak. Yeah, this is definitely a vacuum leak like that other Tacoma I did last week. Yeah, when fuel trims are high like this and you give it gas and you accelerate and the trims go down, then that's, that's a vacuum leak. Rev it up again. You see the numbers long-term fuel trims on bank one and two, they go down into the normal range, ten under 10%. All right, let me open the hood and see what's going on. The hood won't stay open. Gotta use my handy little tool here.
feel like I hear something back here though. So let's see. Line it back. All right, so definitely hear something back here. Uh, let's see here. So this, this line right here, okay, this is totally cracked. Actually, oh, you hear that? Yeah, this line's got a hole in it right here so I just pinched it closed because this thing is so deteriorated I can actually pinch it closed and it just stays closed but this looks like what is this the purge valve a line that goes from there back to the back of the intake it looks like actually with with the line pinched shut like that let me see if it actually makes any difference in the fuel trims even as it is yeah they're still high let me actually, let me see about, um, yeah, they're high. Let me see about replacing that, that hose first of all, and then I'm going to go from there. There could be another issue, but let me start with replacing that line. Okay. So I've taken this bolt loose so I can take this cover off. This line that goes here to the intake. This is the same one that if you follow it around behind the intake, it ends up coming over here to the purge valve and that's the one that's all torn. So I'm gonna see if I have some vacuum line I could put on there and that way we can run it and see if it makes any difference in the fuel trims. Pop that clip off. Now let me get it off of this side over here. Yeah, there wasn't any clip over here. It was just stuck on there. So let me see if I can fish this out here. Yeah, this thing's to totally deteriorated. Let's see if I can find some more line around here. got my other piece of vacuum line here so I'm gonna go ahead and fish this through back here and get everything hooked up and um, see if it makes any difference so let me get this put in okay so I got I got this vacuum line replaced all the way back all the way back here so let me go and start it up and see if that makes any difference. Let me pull the data back up here. Well, that's a good sign. Long-term fuel trims one and two are immediately down. I'm gonna let it warm up a bit more and we'll, uh, I'll keep checking it. So the engine's warmed up now um, and we're pretty much at the same parameters as when the check engine light was set the first time. We're at about 176 degrees. Uh, the engine's at idle. And as you can see, the long-term trims on bank one and two, they're both normal at this point. They're about 5%, which is good. So I'm gonna rev it up a little bit. And we're, we're still okay. I let off of it. Definitely not 25% anymore. So I'm gonna say we got this thing fixed. So I'm just gonna clear the check engine light and uh, have the customer drive it. 